Hey y'all, Tia Cherie here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks for coming back again to check out another video. So if you are new or you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. So this week we are doing something new. We are in a new setting and I am trying something for the first time on my channel and I'm excited to try it for you guys. So we are going to be doing a little DIY of soap making. I was able to purchase this kit off of Amazon and I'll make sure to leave the link down below in the description. But I wanted to make some products that are complementary to my body scrubs that I make. So I am going to attempt to make some lavender body soap. So come along with me as I make it and I hope that it comes out great. But if you're interested in seeing how to make some lavender body soap, make sure that you keep watching and stay tuned. Okay, so I wanted to just go through a little bit about what is in the um, the kit that I ordered. Again, I ordered this off of Amazon. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's from Pafito. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I ordered it. It's a soap making kit. It contains melt and pour soap base. It's one pound of goat milk and one pound of shea butter. It also has original mica colorants and a soap mold. So let's see what's in the box. So here you have a pack of soap molds. This is six of them. Let me turn this down So This is six soap molds here. Then we have the pound of shea butter here. Let's see if you guys can see it. It's a little hard to see with the reflection. And a pound of goat milk. There we go, a pound of goat's milk and a pound of shea butter. And then we have the mica samples. So there's a bunch of different colors in there. I believe there's 10. So there's 10 different colors in there to choose from. I am probably going to use purple. Let's see, as you can see, a bunch of different colors to choose from. We got flavors, okay, flavors, honey styles so we are probably going to choose the purple one um since we're going to be making a lavender soap so let's get that out and yeah let's get into this i'm going to do my first diy so bear with me it's probably not going to come out perfect but listen i'm learning and there's going to be plenty more of these once i get this down packed so let's make some soap this shit is like a brick. Thank God that I got me some tools. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got to work with. This is melt and pour, luckily. So we're gonna be using that microwave right there to get this melted and get this down. We are going to use the shea butter. There you go again, so you guys can see it. We are going to be using the shea butter for this. And I'm going to be using my lavender here. So as you can see, my lavender buds. And I have some lavender essence oils there and yeah we gonna get this done let's see what this soap comes out looking like okay so here i am i am about to cut up the soap it is easier for the soap to melt when it is cut up into smaller pieces this is what i learned while watching some other diy videos of soap making so i decided to use this tool that i got off of amazon to cut the soap up and put it into smaller pieces that way it is easier to melt in the microwave you put it in the microwave for 30 second increments and 30 second spurts to help it melt down you don't want it to overheat so you just do 30 seconds at a time and watch it okay so here after cutting everything up i'm adding it to my microwavable dish and i'm going to put that in the microwave for 30 second increments so i wound up doing three 30 second increments just making sure that i did not overheat it after every 30 seconds i took a look at it to make sure that it was melting down and nothing was overheating i did that three times so here i am just going to make sure that that everything is melted and there are no clumps and everything is good to go before adding the mica in there so I take my mica and my measuring spoon and I add one quarter tablespoon excuse me teaspoon to this 
and I'm making sure that I'm getting it to be a nice purple color that we're looking for being that the soap is going to be lavender we are just going for a nice purple shade and I'm happy with the shade that it came out to be so here I am adding the lavender essential oil and I'm stirring that in, making sure that I stir it in evenly and making sure that it is molding into the soap itself and making sure that it smells good, duh. <laughs> and we are going to now pour it into the mold. As I mentioned before, I didn't make enough for six. I was just kind of trying it out just to see how it will come out. So we made enough for three. I am then going to take the alcohol and spray it on there to get the air bubbles out of there so that there are no air bubbles. And I had to spray it a couple times because those air bubbles were sneaking in. And here is where I probably should have added the lavender right away, but I didn't. As you can see in the video here, it's kind of already having a film on the top of it. It's already hardening, so it's going to make it difficult for the lavender buds to stick to and stay in the soap. A lot of them wound up coming off and you'll see that later on in the video. But now that I know how to do it better, I know for next time. So you can just take a look here and see what not to do for that part. As soon as you pretty much pour it, you should probably take a moment, not right that second, but give it about three minutes and then put it. So as you can see here, a lot of the buds wound up coming off, but it still came out pretty cool. I love the color. The smell was amazing. So everything was great in that aspect. So this is our final product. We have a nice, beautiful, if you guys can see it, there you go has the lavender dried flowers in there, nice sheen to it. This is the shea butter, so it's probably going to feel amazing on the skin. It was super easy to make, it didn't take too long. I had to let it sit for about an hour and a half, so it sat there and it got nice and hard, so it's fully solidified. It's good to go. What I will say is if you're going to add anything to it, like the dried flowers, you add it as soon as you pour it or at least when it gets a little bit hard not super hard not to where it gets a film over it add it right when you pour it because I put mine after and it didn't really a lot of the flowers didn't stick and they fell off so as you can see some of it is a little bit bare and that's because they were falling off so now let it sit a little bit and get a little bit hard and then you'll add the flowers to it and that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you try it yourself. If you do, please leave a comment below. Let me know if you tried it. Let me know what type of flowers you use. Just let me know how it came out. I would love to know. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and the channel and I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.